Hey guys, this is Nate with Colorado Kite Sports. Well, good morning. It's a beautiful day here in Colorado, and uh, I just thought I'd spend a couple minutes walking through some of the new things on the new HQ4 One Bar version 2.0. <laughs> So one thing I've always appreciated about HQ4 is since they are a smaller company, they do a really good job of listening to customers. And I know the changes that they made to this bar were um, the direct results of inputs that I know I had and also some of you guys. So we'll go ahead and take a look at it today and see what they've changed and um, how it's going to work for you. All right, well, here's a look at the bar. So what HQ4 has done with the second version of this bar is they've really tried to streamline it and figure out, okay, what are the things that really work well and what are the things that really probably aren't necessary. So I think just as a community in kiting, we're starting to figure out the things that do work and the things that are just kind of um, add-ons that don't really add much value. Uh, one of those things was the swivel at the top. So what we were finding is on the old version, if you remember it, we can take a walk over here and take a look at it. On the old HQ bar, we had this swivel up here. And while it was a nice feature, um, what we were finding is, you know, when you get into icy conditions, or maybe you get some sand in there, it didn't always swivel out the twist. And so with that and the fact that it just added weight, what they've done on the second version is they decided to get rid of that and then just go to a stainless steel top which is a polished steel which is really nice and then they move the swivel down to the bottom so here we can see that I take out my twist down here and what they've done now is what that makes is it just makes a really nice uh, clean bar that works super good um, still got our clam cleat here that works well so you know you don't have any fifth line to get in the way of anything so it's just a super super clean bar setup. Um, they've gone to slightly smaller balls up here, stopper balls for pulling if you need to pull those. And this um, brake handle is optional. You can put that on after um, if you want to put that on if you're flying foils and want that on. So the other thing that's changed is on the front line flag out what they've done. And you can see we've got this red line that runs to the bar to a center to your center ring here where you hook in your safety safety leech but then up here what we've done is as you continue up here this is the one other change that they made from the previous one is they added a little stopper ball up here so as you know the the one bar uses a frontline flag out system which allows you to pretty much use any modern kite like an inflatable or a foil which is really nice um, but what this stopper ball does is if you engage the safety it prevents the bar from trying to travel all the way up to the kite and so that was a feature that we didn't have on the previous version and it's just nice for when you're in the water say and you're trying to pull the bar back towards you after you've engaged it it stops here you can pull it back and then re-engage the safety the one other thing i wanted to mention is um they got rid of the adjustable trim stop here so if you remember on the old one bar what we had is we had this little piece here and what that allowed you to do was kind of move that up and down uh, to adjust the trim throw on it found that most customers weren't using it and the problem with it too was is that you end up losing probably a solid four inches of d power with that on so we got rid of that in the version 2.0 and uh, it allows us to get you know maximum d power the other nice thing about this bar setup and a chicken loop is you can actually adjust the the distance of this clam cleat up and down and I'll probably do that in a different video show you how you do that it's really pretty simple but that acts as your D power stopper depending on where that is <clears throat> so we still have all the functionality of the old one we just lightened it up simplified it gave a little more D power and so again like I was saying the end result is a super clean bar. I really love this uh, chicken loop. I always have. It's super easy to engage and disengage. In fact, I don't even use the donkey stick anymore. Typically when I'm riding, since I'm riding hooked almost all the time, um, I'll just take it off, 
hook it in into either a carabiner or my slider bar and you just go in there like that and it's so fast to do there's no reason not to and then for your safety you, know, you just come in here in your safety ring hook in and you're you're ready to go so love how easy it is to set up the cleanness of the system and um, if you got any questions go ahead and contact your local hq4 dealer or you can contact me at coloradokitesports.com and hope you have a great day we'll see you later